Now, a few months ago, when I did a tour of my tying room and bench, I got a few folks that asked, how did I make the shadow box on the wall? So I promised Thomas Walls that I would make this video. If you're interested at all in how to make a shadow box to display your flies, stick around. Hello everybody, welcome to Savage Flies. I'm Matt, thanks for stopping by. So the shadow box I'm talking about is one I made a couple of years ago. This one in particular, it's an 11 by 14 frame. It's got uh, 12 streamers in it. See if I can get that focus right there. And it's really a pretty simple project to make. So I'm gonna walk you through how I made this one, all the materials I used, and I'll put some links in the description on where you can get some of it. So the first thing you'll need is an actual shadow box. And we can get these online at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I actually found this at Michael's last weekend. This is an 11 by 14, and Michael's here in the US always has sales. So this one, I think it was about $35, but it was buy one, get two free. So they're about 11 or $12 each. And they're always running some kind of sale. So you'll never have to pay more than, I would say 15 to $20 for a good shadow box. Now they have several different styles, different sizes. They have a natural wood finish or a black finish like this one here. They had a white finish one. I didn't pick up any of the white ones, but this one also was a buy one, get two free. So I think this one ends up being less than $10. Now, another thing you might want to pick up and totally optional up to your preference is a mat. If you get a standard size frame, say that 11 by 14, they sell standard size mats. And this is a, a dual mat here um, and a kind of tan, I guess, light brown color. I also picked up a blue one. We're gonna be doing the blue one here in a few minutes. And a nice mat really does add a, a level of professionalism to the project. Okay, so a couple of other things you're gonna want is something to, you know, stand the flies off of the mat. I picked up these, a bag of 100 small corks. Now this is a, a size one. See if we can focus in on that. And the size one, is 0.6 inches tall and a half inch wide at the, the base and 0.4 inches wide at the top. So this size one, it's really a, a good size for, I would say uh, flies that are size 12 or bigger. If you were gonna do a, a shadow box with some really tiny flies, you know, 16, 18s or 20s, you'd probably wanna go down to the smaller cork. They do make a size zero, which is just a little bit shorter and a little bit narrower. But this size one is a great size for, you know, pretty much most of the flies that we would be wanting to put in a shadow box. So a couple other things you're gonna want is some super glue. So I'm using a liquid type and then a gel type. Now you could substitute a hot glue gun for the gel, but I think this works just a little bit better. Then you're gonna want a pencil, maybe even a ruler to mark where you're gonna be putting the flies. So that's it for the material. Now let's get started and I'll show you how I put together this pretty simple shadow box. So you'll want to, you know, take the, the mat, the foam core out of the shadow box. I've already glued one on here when I was practicing just a few minutes ago. And if you are gonna put a mat on it, now's when I would lay the mat on it. So you just put the mat on it like this right here. Now I would say this next step is probably the most important because if you mess this up, no matter how good a job you do, it's just not gonna look right. So what I'm talking about is getting the layout of how you want it to look. Now you have lots of options. Now on this size, an 11 by 14 mat, I'm gonna do three rows of, uh, or four rows of three. And I think this is going to look pretty good. I'm gonna do steelhead flies on this one. But you can do this however you want. If you were tying some bigger flies, some streamers, maybe you wanna do uh, a row of two, and then a row of three, and then a row of two. That would give you seven flies, and you could spread them out on this size frame. Or if you're doing a nine by nine frame, you might want to do uh, just four flies, you know, two and two. But for the size of these steelhead flies I'm doing, I think uh, four rows of three is going to look good. And after you get it laid out right here, this is where you might want to use your straight edge just to make sure you've got them lined up. I will take my pencil and as I lift it up, I'll just put a small little X right under it. And I'll do that for all of these. And then our next step, we're gonna actually glue the flies to the mat. Or not exactly glue the flies to the mat, put the flies into the cork and then glue the cork to the mat. So I do this step 
uh, first before I glue it to the mat. I'll take the fly I'm going to do, and then I put it into the cork, um, you know, a good bit into it. Just get it nice and secure in there, kind of like that right there. And then you'll want to take the liquid super glue, you know, kind of turn it up a little bit, and just put a small drop of your super glue right there on the base of that hook, and then have it just drip right down to where the hook meets the cork. You can take your bodkin or a, a toothpick if you want to, and it doesn't take much. It's really just a tiny drop right there, um, but it's gonna make it so much more permanent. And it will dry um, transparent. You're not gonna be able to tell that you got a, a drop of super glue in here. So I don't know how vital this drop of super glue is, but I think it's gonna just make it more permanent. And that's one of the last things I would want to happen is the fly falls out of the cork and it just drops to the bottom of your shadow box. That's gonna look terrible. So the next step, after you've let this dry 15 or 20 seconds, is take your gel super glue or hot glue gun if you want, but again, I think the, the gel super glue works better, and just put a, a medium-sized drop on it right here. You, what you don't really want is it to squish out the sides when you push it down onto the mat, but you want enough to get a, a really good uh, bind on it. Now, after you've got the, a big drop of gel super glue on here. Find your X on the board, get the fly at the right angle you want right there, and then just touch it down on top of that that X. Now I'm trying to avoid, I don't want a whole lot of the, the glue to slip out. Uh, a little bit of it did right there, but that's okay. I think it's going to dry clear where you won't be able to see it. So 10 or 15 seconds and that will dry. And there we go, that's the second fly on that. Now just repeat it till you get all 12 of your flies on here. Now let's put this back into the case. And there we go, an incomplete shadow box with only two steelhead flies in it. But after we get all 12 of these in here, it's gonna be a really pretty cool looking project. Now one other thing you could consider doing especially if you're making it for a gift or even not, just get a small brass plate engraved on the bottom. Now I had this one engraved, I think I got it from Amazon for about $10, but it's a pretty cool touch to add just a little bit of professionalism to it. So that's it folks, a really simple project and it's not that expensive. Oh, one other thing you can do with all the extra corks you have is uh, something like this. I just bought this little wood plaque here and glued about 20 of the corks to it, put a couple of rubber legs on the bottom, and I just use this to, to hold the flies. I keep a couple of these on my bench right here and, and, and flies that are either in progress or uh, I've tied a lot of them and haven't put them in my box yet. I'll just store them right there. So that's it everybody. I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care. See you next time.